Welcome back, this is Yamba Jack. Today we got Pallet Town, Gunslinger Suicidal. We're not doing the Pokemon thing just yet. It's still coming, it's coming soon. Yeah, sounds fine. Um, we got some... Stuff's not quite working. Um, <laughs> took me a bit to realize that stuff isn't quite working, but stuff's not quite working here. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> what's going on, but it's fine. Just, uh, you know, it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. It's it's fine. It works. I don't know, man. I don't know. Something got corrupted. Something got deleted. Something didn't get loaded properly. I don't know. It's uh, it's a little bit funky though, but that's okay. I accept the jank. I accept the funk. It's fine. Fine. There's, there, there's, you know, it's uh, it's that picture of the uh, the dog sitting in the room filled with fire. Uh, it's just everything is fine. Nothing is, nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. You move over to the the tech support people or the the IT crew or whatever it's called. You know, I'll just I'll just put this fire with the uh, with the rest of the fire over over here and. That's, uh, that'll, that'll do her. That'll do her. <laughs> oh, dear. You know what? We're not gonna go for the Deagles today. We're gonna go for the dual Rhinos. I just, I'm feeling... I'm feeling up to the Rhinos today. They got a, they got a satisfying play, a gameplay to them. They're not very good. They're not super good. This is a bad thing to do. They're actually like not very. They're pretty bad, but they're fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take them. You get a little bit of uh, like piercing, and then the three shots to kind of go off and do whatever they want. They're uh, they're fun, but they're they're re they're revolvers. So naturally, the reload time is. Just as bad as it gets, really. It's a very long reload time. And the, the reload cancelling basically just doesn't even work on it. Because, uh, just reasons, you know? Are these, uh, these a value... Are these a good trade with, for the decals? No. No. But I'm taking them anyway. There's nothing you can do to change that. Nothing you would want to do to change that. They are fun though. Super fun when you get some like trick shots with them, bouncing stuff off walls. Or an endless when you got just a ton of zeds and that piercing and bouncing and ricocheting kind of actually starts to be beneficial at all. But uh, in this kind of a scenario, it's not particularly useful. I've got a rice cooker, right? I, uh... Oh my god, these textures are just horrible. I'm pretty sure these are not... There's not even supposed to be anything here, right? There's just a wall there now? Yeah. Um, let's see. So we have 4 of 15. We can afford the deagles with this. So I guess we will go for the deagles. You know what? No, we're not We're not gonna... We're gonna go for some, some funky stuff today. We're going, we're going full funk town here, okay? Uh, I, have a, I have a rice cooker. It's a tiny little thing, but it, it does the job just fine. And uh, when you when you've been using a rice cooker for a while, you can generally just estimate how much rice and how much water you need in it, right? So uh, I put the rice into the thing. I wash the rice uh, a couple of times, get rid of all the starch, and then. Uh, yeah, so here's why we got the AF. Let's take you out there, boy. Nice and easy. Um, so you can take the uh, take the starch off of it, and then uh, you gotta fill that up with water, right? So what I do is I oh goodness gracious, um, I'll just fill it up with enough water that feels like yeah, it's about right, and then. Uh, 
I will I'll, I'll put in water right and then I'll kind of tilt it a little bit and push all the rice down to, to one side so that it's kind of like on a 45 degree angle with the uh, with gravity you know and uh, then the water should basically come right up uh, above the um, above the rice in the in that kind of a position so the water should uh, just start to cover in a, a little bit over the uh, over the rice and with the amount of rice that I make for for you know one person maybe two people that estimation works pretty consistently works pretty well um, if you're making rice for more people or even perhaps in like a different rice cooker or different rice you know a lot of different variables perhaps that amount of water is not right um, so anyway uh, my mother doesn't use the rice cooker when she makes rice she'll just um, yeah we're gonna want the duels and then so that's two to upgrade yeah we'll upgrade the rhinos once and then upgrade the AFs once and that'll be that'll be our build my mother doesn't use rice cooker she'll cook rice in a pot and uh, so one day she saw me just kind of like fill it up, tilt the water out, put the rice cooker on and make rice. And it was good rice because I've, I've made it a lot. I know what I'm doing. Uh, so she tried the same. She tried to do the same thing and she was like, she, she didn't measure it. She just uh, filled it up and was like, this is the right amount of water. Meanwhile, she's never used it before. So I'm like, I don't know why you think this is the right amount of water, but okay. Uh, and it ended up being this like soggy, floury, like rice paste. Um, I'm like, yeah, that's why you, that's why you measure it. You know, a lot of people they don't like reading instructions on stuff. You know, they're like, oh, I'm too good for instructions. You know, how hard can it be? But so the reality is, like, it can be kind of hard. Like, the easy, easy things can be hard if you don't know what you're doing. That's why we have to be taught what one plus one is in school. Even though it's it's you know easy, and I don't really know what the point of this story is, but just just use the instructions on your rice cooker for for the first bit. And if you don't have a rice cooker, like get a rice cooker because rice cookers are sweet. If you don't eat much rice, you'll start eating rice. I don't know where my rice is right now. I left the left the bag out. And uh, it's, it's been moved to who knows where. I went to make some rice for lunch today and I could not find it. So I had to have uh, some leftover rice. Of, like, I don't know, there's some garlic rice in the fridge or whatever. Wasn't quite what I wanted. I wanted white rice. But hey, what can you do, right? Not much. Not much is the answer, really. If you're me and you're living in this household, there, there's just, uh, sometimes you just gotta eat the foods. I mean, I'm trying to be on my own for dinners, but, like, also if I'm not eating the foods that are in the fridge, then they'll probably just get thrown out. So, at a certain point, it's just, it's better for the environment, you know? Let's not waste so much food. It's important to, to be conscientious of, uh, your impact on the environment. My fridge comes soon. It's halfway through August. My fridge is supposed to come uh, late August, early September. Really looking forward to when it comes, because then I'll have a uh, fridge of my own and my brand new San Santoku knife. Santoku knife, yeah. And uh, it'll just be, it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. The current fridge is, it's, it's so low. Like, the tallest part on it, I have to kneel down to use it. I, there's there's no point in the fridge that I can get to without, uh, like, kneeling down, so... I've uh, pretty much given up on the fridge for now. I'm just like, yeah! I'll just, when I get a new fridge, I will, uh... I'll, I'll properly, like, do stuff. But, uh, with, with the fridge as it is, I'm like... I just, I don't want to have to kneel down every single time. And the thing is, is like... And you go upstairs, you... My fridge is downstairs, right? And then the uh, the cooking area is upstairs. So I'll grab, you know, 
eggs and maybe some cheese or something. And then I'll head upstairs and I'll be like, oh, I forgot the green onion. I'll go back downstairs, kneel down, grab the green onion, walk back upstairs. I'll be like, oh, you know what? I guess I could use some, I don't know, some peppers or something, make an omelet. And I go back downstairs and I have to like kneel down and grab the stuff and like it's nothing. But you do that like three, four times a day and it's tedious to say the least. Anyway. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.